Indian poet Ashok Vajpayee called Bikaner, a city where one half of the population is occupied with making bujia and the other half eating it. Anyone visiting this far-flung destination in northwest India's frontier state of Rajasthan might agree. The golden and crispy fried snack, shaped like noodles, is served everywhere from tiny roadside tea stalls to high-end cocktail bars, it finds its way onto every course, as toppings on breakfast and on lunch and dinner time curries. Why? Because it's delicious, made with a local bean known as moth or gram flour seasoned with traditional spices. Another popular variant, a lobagia, is made with potatoes, bikan air isn't lacking in flavor itself. A place of shifting dunes, camels and ancient forts built by warrior kings, just 150 kilometers, 93 miles, from the Pakistan border, it's a quintessential desert landscape, locals refer to themselves as being Saral, Suk, and Sust, simple, happy, lazy. Simple and happy, perhaps, but the bujia makers here are far from lazy they start work at 4 a.m. most days in order to collectively produce more than 250 tons before clocking off. A delicious history, it's an obsession nearly 150 years in the making, the story goes that in 1877, Bikaner state monarch Maharaja Sri Dungar Singh commissioned a novel savory item to treat guests at his palace and the royal chefs came up with bujia. Little did Singh know that what emerged from his kitchen would become an edible Indian national treasure. News of bujia spread fast and soon it was being made in homes around the state. In 1946, one enterprising local, Ganga Bishan Agarwal, began selling the snack from a humble shop in a Bikaner backstreet. A decade later, Agarwal left town to create his own sweet empire, which proved so successful that several curious businessmen from farther afield were prompted to trace his origins and discovered the magic of bujia. Today most bujia producing businesses have their roots back in Bikaner. But that does not mean that you can set up a walk and churn out bujia anywhere and call it Bikanery. For many fans, only bujia made in Bikaner counts as the real thing. In 2010, the Bicanary Bujia was issued a coveted geographical indication tag by the Indian government. Now only those manufacturing inside the geographic territory of Bikaner are allowed to use the adjective Bicanary to label their Bujia, just like only one region of France can call it sparkling wine champagne. Despite its fame, Bicanary Bujia remains a cottage industry in Bikaner, albowing one that provides employment to around 2.5 million people especially women, in the region's villages from a local favorite to a global brand, but what makes Bikaner snack so special, the magic is in the air, claims Deepak Agarwal, a descendant of the Ganga Bishan family who is a giant of today's Bikaneri Bujia scene, selling the delicacy under the popular Bakaji brand name, while the rest of our family took over different geographical regions of India. My father decided to settle here and started his venture, he says, you cannot get the same flavor even if you export the ingredients from here to manufacture it elsewhere, an arid climate, a distinctive red chili known as Lanja Merch, which blends well with local spices, and the region's saline water are also key ingredients, he says. For Dr. Chef Saurabh, a culinary author and educator, by Canary Bujia is not a food, but an emotion, there is a distinction in the taste of any food when it is sourced from its origin. And Bujia from Bikaner is a perfect example, he says, and now Bujia is attracting global attention that in 2019, international food giant Kellogg's contemplated buying a stake in best-selling Bikaner Bujia maker Haldurum snacks, although the deal was subsequently scrapped. PepsiCo attempted to launch its own Bujia product in 1996. The masala-spiced product, which it called Lehar, couldn't compete with Bicanary classics and eventually vanished from store shelves. A snack that travels, meanwhile, a world away from Bikaner, Bujia from one of the brands owned by Ganga Bishan's family can even be found on the shelves of a New Jersey Walmart to the delight of Rajasthan emigrant R.T. Sadhani, we have a large population of Indians here, she says. Besides Walmart and Indian stores, it is even available on Amazon.com. I sometimes add it on a burger or a sandwich to quirk up my kids' food. It provides some Indianness to the foreign foods, for Sadhani and other Indians abroad, Bujia serves as an anchor from history to the ever-changing culinary scene of Indians no matter where they are on the planet, 
and Gong Abishan's success story is just one of many. Today Maharaja Singh might be resting proudly in his grave knowing that Bikaner has produced Bujia barons who have made their presence felt way beyond the desert alleyways of a small town in northwestern India. Source, CNN Travel